Okay, I have no idea about what's going on here, so let's check this out. This seems very interesting, guys. Of the invaders obliterated by the Confederation. Now peace and prosperity rule. But the wounds of battle are slow to heal, and a frightening new enemy is born. And now they attack us! Fueled by the horrors of war, a deranged human mind unleashes terror upon the innocent. You're gonna wish you never met me. I already do. Yesterday's heroes are summoned to fight in a battle whose victor will control the fate of mankind for centuries to come. Mark Hamill, Malcolm McDowell, and Tom Wilson embark on an epic journey that puts the destiny of all mankind in your hands. Wing Commander 4, The Price of Freedom, Remastered. Get into the game at wcrespace.com. Welcome to the channel guys, it's the Eradicator and your eyes are not deceiving you, we are looking at a remaster of Wing Commander 4, The Price of Freedom. Now before you get your hopes high, no this is not official, it is a fan remake, but it looks pretty darn good and pretty impressive. There is a demo that I will play at the end of this video. And, uh, well, you'll be able to judge uh, by yourself the work that was done by this specific community here. Uh, so, what is this about? Well, it's basically taking the Wing Commander 4 and making it up to modern standards, or at least tries. So, they're going to be cleaning some of the cutscenes, the many cutscenes, I mean, live-action cutscenes. Uh, they are going to be changing, you know, in... Uh, they're updating uh, the, the engine to make it look better and play that in uh, with 60 frames per second. Uh, so that's these are basically some of the uh, modern uh, expectations that we have nowadays in the 2020s. And while well, it looks pretty darn cool already with what we are seeing, I mean, it's definitely better than some of the uh, modern space shooters that we are seeing out there being asked on the market. Now, there is an FAQ, Frequently Asked Questions, uh, that is... Uh, not not a lot of questions, but nevertheless, uh, we're going to go over them. So what do you need to play? So uh, to play the demo, uh, you can play the demo on your own because it's basically a demo, right? Just like back in the, in the old days, in the 1980s, you had a lot of those demos that you would have in magazines, for example, which were basically showcasing some gameplay. But obviously, if you wanted more, you had to play the full game, right? This was very common back in the days. But in the future, you are going to have to own the actual game that you can buy on Origin or on GOG Good Old Games because they want to encourage the, to, they want to encourage people to support the franchise and show EA that there is still some interest in the franchise as well. What is the release date for the uh, for, it's basically a mod, right, for this mod, this to total conversion of the remaster. Well, there is no release date. In a pure Chris Robert fashion here, uh, we are being told that it is told when it is done. Uh, but they want to uh, release the demo in a short time frame. It's already out, as way, uh, by the way, as a proof of concept. Is the media here representative of the final product? So it says basically that these are the videos that we are seeing over there in the in the tab there, and they said that no, uh, it is not. Uh, these are it's not even first pass, but they want to be showing basically uh, the visuals that they want to be uh, having for this uh, particular remaster. Uh, do they need any help here with the scripting? The answer is no. They want to keep the missions and the game as original as it as it is. They just want to make it look better. And why Wing Commander 4 and not 1, 2, and 3 and Prophecy? That's simply uh, because they believe that eventually, further down the line, uh, they will be able to uh, do that uh, on their own. They, they think that Electronic Arts will be able to do that on their own. So uh, that's why they believe that if one day there's going to be a remaster, it's going to be happening with 1, 2, and 3 and not 4. So they don't, they don't really want to be walking on electronic cars footsteps, right? Uh, when it comes to control schemes here that are being supported, we're having flight sticks, which is what I've been using, uh, but also uh, mouse and keyboard. I have not been able to make it work here, so uh, definitely recommend it here with a, uh, a flight stick or eventually some game pads. Again, that's usually not recommended for this style of game. 
they are only going to be doing that for a PC and would they support VR? Absolutely, uh, they have already done some tests but it's not ready yet. Last but not least, is there a danger of season disease? And here they are saying that uh, no it's not, uh, they are not creating a standalone product, it's just a mod of the original Wing Commander 4 and they just want to improve the uh, user experience and they want to encourage people to be buying the game from EA so that's why it's very likely that there's not going to be a cease and disease but here is how it's going to look like guys in engine because I have downloaded the demo and I have played it with you guys so these are going to be my first impressions. All right, so we have this um, concourse over there, something you know, very classic of the games of the 1990s. So let's just click here on starting the uh, demo. So press any key, very 1990s indeed. Looks like we're some kind of carrier. You can definitely recognize the Chris Roberts touch if you've been following uh, games like uh, Starlancer and of course, more recently, Star Citizen. Oh yeah, as a Star Citizen player, I totally recognize even the, you know, the UI, very classic, the big center, the targeting uh, targeting UI in the front, the ship status on the side over there, target status at the bottom, the radar in the middle, looks like a uh, very reminiscent of uh, Cutlass Drakes. Alright, here we go. Anyway, uh, this is the very first time I play a Wing Commander game. I love the little voices here of the NPCs that when you kill them. <laughs> Very similar in Star Citizen 2. My old feeble granny can fly better than that. I love that the uh, the NPCs are taunting us. This is so cool. So they try to rebring here the uh, voices as well from the uh, original game apparently. By the way, I, it's really hard. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know any of the keys. I don't know how to target. I'm just randomly pressing. Uh, but on my joystick. Oh, I have been eradicated already. Well, that was quick. But pretty cool. I'm definitely gonna have to uh, practice a bit more. But there you have it, guys. This is how this uh, demo is looking like. And I cannot wait to be reporting on further developments as soon as we have some. You can download it in the link that I'll be providing in the comment section down below. Guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been the Eradicator. I will see you guys later.